When it was dedicated in 1939, the 82-inch telescope featured a prime focus camera at the very top of the tube. Instead of using a mirror to reflect light back down the tube to a focus at the bottom of the telescope, a camera was placed at the prime or first focus of the 82-inch mirror. This fast optical system allowed for wide fields of view and relatively short exposure times. To make sure the telescope stayed precisely on target during the exposure, a process known as guiding, astronomers and their night assistants used what was known as the telescope's Newtonian focus. A small mirror picked off a little bit of light at the edge of the field of view and reflected it out the side of the telescope near the camera. Thanks to modern digital detectors, today's astronomers can record their observations and guide the telescope, all from the comfort and safety of the control room. But those early astronomers were forced to position themselves near the top of the telescope tube. Fortunately, a system inside the dome allowed that access. The astronomer would stand in this pulpit, which is attached to a motorized scaffold. The scaffold could be raised and lowered anywhere along the length of the dome opening. The astronomer could move the pulpit out toward the telescope to allow easier access to that critical guiding focus. Once positioned at the guiding focus, the astronomer could monitor the position of the telescope and control the motion of the dome, the pulpit, and the scaffold, all from this location. Meanwhile, the night assistant would scurry up and down an internal catwalk, bringing fresh photographic plates to the astronomer and taking exposed plates back down to the developing labs in the lower levels of the dome. Imagine standing for hours in the cold, high above the dome floor, peering through a guiding eyepiece, while all around you massive equipment moves to capture the light from galaxies millions of light years away. Now imagine doing all of that completely in the dark. <laughs>